guys, it's Julie. Welcome or welcome back to my wonderful BC life. Today we will be having part three of my Christmas home tour videos. Three in a series of eight, I believe. So one and two just went by and hopefully if you miss them, you'll go look for those. And anyway, uh, hope you enjoy it. And let's go on to part number three. This is on the door as you enter our bedroom and it's a wreath that I made, a candy cane wreath. I believe I got the wreath form last year at Dollar Tree and they do have those same wreath forms there as well right now. So I got that and I decorated it all up. As you can see I've got candy cane ribbon and some uh, lacy type ribbons, I forget what you call those ones. And there's some gingerbread ribbon in there as well. And then up above that, we have a little snowman over the door wreath hook. So that's as you enter the bedroom. To be honest, I don't really have a lot of Christmas decor in my bedroom. I really should rectify that. But anyways, for now, what I do have is my little Noel cushion that sits on the bed. But like I say, there's plenty of room for more stuff in here. Hmm. As you enter Dave's bathroom, the first thing that you see is this little Santa who hangs on the door. Pretty sure I got him from Coils in Tilsonburg back when we lived in Ontario, and I just love him. Here we are in Dave's bathroom. We'll start on this side, I guess. We have a Santa Kleenex box. And next to that, a red candle with holly berries around it. And then an I'll be known for Christmas towel. And then we have a Santa soap dispenser, and Santa has a little Christmas tree in his hand. And then over on this side, we have a little Christmas tree that I decorated. It has the old fashioned style decorations with the little wooden people. And it has a uh, little wooden bell over here. And I don't know if that's a mouse or a bear, Whatever it is, it's cute. And anyway, some of them are on sleighs and some of them have angel wings. And like I say, I decorated that myself. There's the topper. And down beneath the Christmas tree is a little snowman who is actually a candle. And then last but certainly not least, a gnome for the holidays towel. This is the guest bedroom, and like my bedroom, I really don't have a whole lot in it. I really should do something about that, don't you think? I think so. But anyway, the one thing I do have in here is my Santa pillow where he's climbing down the chimney with the presents. I do have that. And that's what I've got in here. I really need to get more in here. This is almost silly, knowing how much I've got upstairs. This is the door heading into the guest bathroom, which is in the downstairs level of the house. And there is a little snowman. No doubt another thing from my shopping days at Coils. And he's hanging there on a hook on the door. This is where I put the it's Christmas time to get your jingle on towel in the guest bathroom. And here I have some candles in nice decorative jars that I put some colorful Christmassy ribbons on years ago. These were a gift from somebody that I worked with at the grocery store. I'm not sure which girl gave them to me, but I've had them ever since then. On the vanity. We have a little snowman box of tissues. And over here, 
we have another little Christmas tree. This one has like the, uh, it has different ornaments on it too. A lot of gingerbread ones on this one and some with our names on it and some of those homemade style ones as well. And there's the tree topper. Behind that is the Peace and Joy towel that I got at Dollar Tree. And I've had this uh, soap dispenser for a while, the little soldier. I've had him for quite a while. I'm not sure where I bought him at this point. And I consider this to be kind of Christmassy. I think it is, sort of like a gingerbread house. And I bought this not long ago at the Habitat for Humanity uh, thrift store. And I'm pretty sure I only paid a dollar for it. And, and if you look, these appear to be the same ones they carry at HomeSense. And I'm sure that there are a lot more money at HomeSense. But that's exactly where this one originally came from. This is on my bathroom door. I almost forgot to include it. This is another gingerbread man wreath that I made last year. Very similar to the other one that I already filmed, but a little bit different here and there. Let's see, we've got the same gingerbread couple on the inside, which I did decorate their hats a little bit. Well, she has a bow and he has a hat. I added the little snowball to her bow and the little green balls to his hat. And as you can see, this one has an old fashioned choo-choo train on this side and the little gingerbread men and some candy canes and some balls and some more candies. So it's a little bit different than the other one, but similar. I actually thought that I might be able to sell these, but I've put them on Marketplace and nobody seems to be interested. So I don't know, I guess people just would rather make them themselves, but a lot of work goes into it. There's my bow, and if you go up and look, there's my Santa over the door hook. And like I say, I think it's, maybe it's just me blowing my own horn again, but I thought I did a really good job of it. And there's the other, I don't think I focused on that, but there's the other choo-choo train over on that side, the old fashioned train with the smoke coming out of the smokestacks. So there you go. There's another one of my wreaths that I made. And up on top of my medicine cabinet, we've got my Dollarama Christmas duckies. Santa ducky, who I had last year. And this year I got the reindeer ducky and the snowman ducky to go with them. So now I've got the set of Christmas duckies from Dollarama. Here we are in my bathroom where we've got my little gingerbread nightlight, which I got as a gift from my sister Kathy. My little Merry Christmas towel that I got from Dollar Tree. My little Christmas tree that I added little red balls to and a little angel tree topper, as you can see. Another little snowman candle like was in my husband's bathroom, the same sort of thing. There's Santa by the Christmas tree and the snowman. There's my candle with the holly surrounded, or the berries, I should say. And this candle's kind of interesting because it's got little ornaments and stuff inside of it and little branches. I forget where I got it, but I've had it for years and I've always liked it. And there's a Santa hat that I put on my lotion bottle. And the Tis the Season to be Jolly towel that I got at Dollarama. 
And this is another thing that I know Dave bought me, and I've had it for a while, and it's a uh, snowman soap dispenser. Very cute. And then over here, my little snowman tissue box. Well, it's not a whole lot of Christmas decor still, but it's still it's more than what I had. And uh, here's what I've got now in the guest bedroom. I've added a Season of Joy sign that I picked up at Dollar Tree. It looks like a little jar with a little bow tied around it. And then in my craft supplies, I came across these that I had picked up last year. It's a little scarf that has Christmas trees on it. So I just tied it around my candlestick holder and I added a green candle, which I don't know why I didn't have a candle on here already, but I didn't. And anyways, I added that and uh, so now I have a bit of a display on the dresser in the spare bedroom. Well, it just so happens that I was going through my craft supplies and I came across a couple of Christmassy scarves that I had picked up at Dollar Tree last year. And I decided, at least seeing as I don't have a lot else going on, to put them into play as bedroom decor. So here in my bedroom, I've wrapped one of the scarves around this. It's got Christmas trees on it, so that's Christmassy. At least it's a little something in here along with the new Happy Holidays sign that I picked up at Dollar Tree yesterday. So there, a little bit more Christmas in the bedroom now. Well, that was part three of my Christmas home tour. I hope everybody liked it and hope you're back again for part four, which will be tomorrow. And until then, bye-bye.